Hey guys, how you guys doing? Sorry I've been away for a while, but today we're going to be talking about business and politics. And do they mix or can you separate them or can they be together? So can business and politics exist in the same plane? Let's find out. Hi guys, I'm Jay Burnham and this is the Real Jay Burnham Show. And I've been gone for the last couple of days, so I apologize to you. I am back. I just needed a couple of days rest, plus I was really busy here at work. So please forgive me and uh, give me a little leeway, all right? Also, guys, if you haven't already done so, you need to subscribe. So hit that little red button right there, right, right, right there. You see it? It's a red button. It says subscribe. Hit that button, all right? So today we're going to be talking about business and politics. And so right now we're in a time that is very, very divisive. We've got the left and the right. They've got drawn their lines, and they are sticking to it. And it's very divisive. The left hates the right. The right hates the left. And there's really not much in the middle. And if you're in the middle, you, you actually get hit from both sides, it seems like, on the political spectrum. But the problem is, is that a lot of people are, lately are mixing business with politics. And I don't know if that's the smartest thing in the world for you to do. That said, if you go to my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, my fa personal Facebook page is not a lot of, there's not a lot about me and my business on my personal page. But I do, you know, talk and debate about politics quite a bit with people on my personal page. My personal page does kind of, I do promote my business to a little bit, but that's not where I promote my business. I have a professional page for my business, which I strictly stick to nothing but my business. I don't put politics in my business page unless it specifically refers to my industry being the moving industry. For instance, California decided to do a surcharge uh, for their on their moves that they're charging now five bucks or something like that as a surcharge. I put that on my page, and that is a very, very um, oh, it's along the lines. It's it's very apropos, it's an appropriate thing to put it. I didn't say that I was for it or against it. I just put the information out. I saw it on the news. I read it. I read up on it, and I put it on my page on my page, right? I keep politics separate from my business, right? Um, I do promote my business a little bit on my professional page, but I never promote my political or religious views on my business page. I keep them separate. Now, there are people that have been doing this. We look at a lot of the celebrities these days, Chelsea Handler, Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, uh, Katy Perry, Madonna, uh, Rosie O'Donnell, Whoopi Goldberg, all these people, they over and over and over there slamming Donald Trump. Rightly or wrongly, I'm not going to get into that, but they're pushing their views um, uh, onto the American public. They are mixing their business, which is them being the celebrity, they are the brand, with politics. Well, the problem with this is that it will alienate half of the particular uh, people uh, will alienate half of the country, basically. We saw this in Target. Target uh, recently was a victim of a boycott. Why? Because they mix politics with business. They came out uh, earlier this year, or I believe late last year, that they were going to allow transgenders to go in whatever bathroom they so identified with. Now, again, I'm not going to I'm not going to debate the merits of if it's right or it's wrong. But the, the half of America decided, hey, that is not what we stand for. We don't agree with that. We're going to boycott you. And Target's uh, prices went down the hill, crashed out the bottom, to the point that they actually reversed their policy on the transgender bathrooms. This is, this is the, the problem that you can... Uh, run into when you mix business with politics. All right. If you, whether you're a uh, conservative or liberal, it doesn't matter. If you're going to mix your business with your politics, you're going to alienate half of the country. You're going to piss off one thing. But so you don't really want to do that. 
why you don't want to do that? One, you're, it's just stupid business. It's just dumb business. The reason why you don't want to do that is because what you're not only going to alienate half your business, but now you're closing, you're narrowing your market focus to whom you can and will sell to. All right. And that's just the way it is. We see this on Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A. They have a very particular stance on abortion and gay rights. Rightly or wrongly, again, I'm not debating the merits of the issue, but they have uh, the Kathy uh, family and that company, um, which is Chick-fil-A, um, they have a very particular stance. They're very Christian. They're holding the, the line on the politics regarding a lot that's aligned with their religion. All right, and no, we're not going to talk about religion on this business of politics. We're just talking about the political side of the religion. This alienates a lot of people. You get a lot of people from the LGBT community that do not like Chick-fil-A and won't go to Chick-fil-A. You got a lot of liberals that won't go to Chick-fil-A because of their specific stance, right? And this, and then this not doesn't just apply to businesses. This applies to all sides of entities, including states. North Carolina. Let's put this. They're in the business of bringing business into, um, uh, into their state. They're in the. They want to bring people into the state that spend money. Bring business in means more jobs, means more more people coming to live, more higher tax revenue. Um, you want big sports functions. You want huge functions that bring millions of dollars into the different communities. Well, they they, they took a very harsh stance on gay on the gay uh, rights issue, and they basically said, "No, we're not gonna. We don't agree with the gay rights issue." And they said, "No, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do these transgenders. We're not gonna do this, this thing." And America took notice and just lambasted them in the media and so on and so forth. And like now the uh, NBA, they're not going to have their the final four basketball tournaments in North Carolina anymore or um, and some other beat. So it doesn't just apply to you and your specific fear. It, it re applies to everybody in any size of ent business entity. Business and politics do not mix well. That said, sometimes it does. For instance, if you're a conservative and with high conservative values and your market and you're selling something to the conservative market, then yes, being divisive and entering your politics is a smart play because you're playing against the left versus the right and vice versa. If you're a liberal and you your, your business is geared towards selling things towards the liberals, then yeah, you're going to want to alienate the, the conservative side. Absolutely, that is smart business. But you do not, as a general, as a generality, want to mix business with politics. You know, like tar the Target example. Their job is to bring people from all different uh, faiths, religions, ideologies, etc., into their stores to purchase. When you say you're going to hold some sort of line, and there are people that go against that politically. You are now saying, I don't like you guys, go away. That's exactly what you're saying. And there have been companies that says, I don't want you guys, if you support Trump, if you support, I don't want to do business with you. There was recently, Kat Von D had a, 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 a did a whole uh, uh, Instagram um, contest where she was inviting a makeup artists and photographers to do a whole little a thing of uh, um, basically a makeup and photo photograph your makeup. Um, do your make the makeup artist was to do make do some artwork with some people and uh, get it photographed. Well, the winner of this a uh, contest actually on her personal page said, you know what, I I'm for Trump, you know, so on and so forth. She obviously still, still likes Kat Von D, liked her products, um, and so on and so forth. But Kat Von D. Uh, saw saw that this woman liked Trump and said, "You know what? You're not the winner of my contest anymore. You're not in. You're disinvited as the winner." She still she still invited the photographer that was associated with the makeup artist. But as far as the makeup artist, no, go away. I don't want to have anything. And she specifically wrote to this woman saying, 
I don't want to have, I cannot be friends with anybody that supports Trump. Wait a minute. So why, why, as a business person, why would you even say that, first of all? Whether you agree or disagree, you're trying to sell products and give products to people that might not necessarily agree with your ide ideology or political stance or position. So why would you go and try to say, I don't want to be friends with you? Kev D very, very clearly and plainly says, if you vote for Trump, if you're a supporter of Trump, if you're basically, if you're a conservative or Republican, I want nothing to do with you. I can't be friends with you. Screw up. Okay, fine. We just won't buy their stuff. All right, so that's just the way it is. But she's now basically, instead of having this wide open earth, she's now limited her actual profit base or actually her demographics to a very small niche. And there's going to be parts of her niche that don't agree with her because she's all tattooed up. There's going to be a parts of her niche that she's, because she said something or other, that they're going to boycott her. All right? So when you limit your demographics, you now limited it to this much. Let's say you got it this way, you were limited it to half. Well, guess what? You're only going to sell to a certain portion of that demographic anyway. So instead of having this portion where you could have sold to this, you now got this portion and you're selling this. It's actually very stupid business procedure. So don't do it. There is a lot of reasons why you don't want to do it. Um, and like I said, that was that was wonderful. Um, and again, it's not about a matter of which is right and wrong, which stance position is right or wrong. Me, personally, I lean towards the conservative end. But I'm not also, I'm not necessarily a Trump supporter. I don't necessarily support him. I'll come out right now and say, say I don't support Donald Trump. I don't like the way he uh, tweets. I don't like the way he does a lot of things. I do like that he gets things done. I do like him as a business guy. I do look up to him as a business person. But as president, as a politician, I'm not very keen on him. I'm not very happy. That said, I'm still conservative. But I'm also, I have, I'm also very libertarian where I believe people should have personal rights and personal freedoms, which goes towards the very left side, the liberal side. So it can be put in the box. And that becomes another problem. If you go down the middle, you're going to be attacked by either side. So now instead of having everybody, you know, you, 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 you've still got this thing. But what you're going to do is if you hold a political neutral stance, you're going to get attacked. The best thing is, is not to promote your politics at all. Now, that said, I, I have screwed up in my early career when I on my moving business. Because I did enter business with politics. That's a no-no. That said, I still, on my personal page, people know that I'm a mover. People know that I'm a Christian. People know that I'm on a conservative side. But I still have a lot of people um, that, are, that lean left that will still support me, still refer me business. Because they recognize that I keep my personal business, my, my personal stance and positions separate from my business stance and that I do not let my personal and political stance affect my business. For instance, I, and this is just, I'm not saying right or wrong. You don't have to agree with me or not. I am not, I'm not in favor of the gay rights position. I'm just not. I see the tr a tremendous problems with that. However, I do believe these people are great individuals. I have plenty of, uh, uh, people that are homosexual, that are my friends, that I have on speed dial, that I deal with business. Would I not service those guys? Absolutely, I would service them. Just because they're gay, homosexual, doesn't mean I'm going to refer, refer, refuse service to these people. They're still people. That doesn't mean I should treat them unfairly or unduly, right? And my, my people recognize that even though I might not necessarily agree with their position or their lifestyle, I don't let that affect my business decisions. I don't elect, affect it even in my personal life. I, I, I'm, I'm not necessarily, even though I got homosexual friends, I'm not necessarily going to hold that against them. I will still hang out with these people. I'm not going to go to a gay bar with them. I'm not going to go to gay prides with them. But 
I would, if they want to come to a cookout, I will invite them to a cookout with me. Why? Because they're people too. I'm not going to limit my prospects uh, for my business just because of my personal re personal feelings. These are my personal feelings, and they're they're right or they're wrong. They're right for me. They might be wrong for you. And if that's a if that's the case, then God bless you. I have no problem with you. Let's debate it. I have no problem. Let's go to the bar and have a beer over it and talk about it. I have no problem. But don't let it affect your business life. Keep your politics separate from your business. Okay? Sorry about that. All right, guys. So we're back. I'm going to have to edit that out. I had a friend call me, and I apologize. But anyway, as I was saying, do not, do not mix your politics with your business. All right? That's my personal opinion, my two cents. You can agree with me or disagree with me. If you disagree with me, hey, let's have a debate. Leave me a comment below in the comment section. All right? If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you share this with all your family and friends. And don't forget, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.